I don't have to answer you. Uh, uh, it's a lawful act, so I, I wish to break contact. Thank you. You can you can contact your. I got you. Alright, uh, did you get permission from the sheriff and all that? I don't need permission. It's First uh, Amendment. Actually, being private property, you kind of do need This permission. is public property because. Okay. okay. Officer Hendricks, I already told you What's that. your address? I already told did I ask for your address? Yeah, it comes on my ID. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll share a tense situation where a group of individuals decided to film in a public area, leading to a conflict with the police. This is an opportunity for us to discuss citizen freedoms and the challenges we might face when exercising these rights. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video to help us spread the message about citizen rights. A First Amendment audit at the West Valley Detention Center in Rancho Cucamonga, known for its notorious reputation Detention center here in Rancho, uh, from what I've heard, it's got a bad rep. So they've been, everybody's been asking me to. In this situation, we witnessed severe violations by D. Martinez, a deputy sheriff, while carrying out his duties. As usual, when an auditor was filming at the West Valley Detention Center, he was suddenly confronted by a police officer demanding that he stop filming and provide ID. This action violated the citizens' rights protected by the First Amendment, which guarantees freedom of the press and the right to film law enforcement officers in public spaces. Just taking a video. The jail? My purpose. Your purpose? Okay, but what is there? I don't have to answer you. Uh, uh, it's a lawful act, so I, I wish to break contact. Thank you. We are here to surprise you. All right, you have a good day. I didn't know why you're... You don't need to know anything. What, what, is this a crime? Yeah, you take me taking pictures of employees going in and out of the facility. You don't, you don't do that to people's personal vehicle. What's, what law is that? State of Penal Code. Penal Code 148.G clearly establishes the fact that I can record any public entity, your supervisor, no, you and, 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 and excuse me, excuse me, and that photographer, no, and that photographer. No, 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 no. You work for me. No, well, well, then you can, well, then you can, you be in live stream too, so there's already calls being done to you. This guy thinks because he pulls up, I'm his property when I'm not doing nothing wrong. Four Dice versus Seattle st clearly states the fact that I can record public officials. 148.G clearly states that photography alone, when it's done in a legal spot, cannot be deemed suspicious. So I would suggest you get a supervisor, sir. Before you make before you make your department look bad, I would get a supervisor. I, I know what I'm doing very well, sir. Just doing a little story, man. That's it. Yeah, where my tax dollars go. Yeah, including yours. I, my tax dollars go to pay you. That's why when you approach me, you should have more respect. In any other field, if you, I'm, I'm here. But yeah, but you're telling me that I need to tell you. I don't need to tell you anything. Unless, no, I know, but I. I, I yeah, but you said you said you wanted to know. No, I'm not. I'm public property, sir. Okay, but you are here. I am public property. Are, are you are you against the First Amendment, sir? What is your name badge number? This is D. Martinez. Yeah, I need to get your identification. No, thank you, sir. I no, thank you, sir. Yes, I no, I didn't. I need to know who in contact. No. For what for what crime, sir? Hey, can you guys make a call? I'm at the at the West Valley Detention Center in San Bernardino. Mr. Martinez thinks that just because he pulls up and he's wearing a tin badge, you can just ask for an ID when uh, I'm doing a First Amendment protected activity. You ain't gonna get no ID because I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay, I just, I just wanna know who contacted you. Yeah. Me, what's your name? Sir? No, thank you. What's you can name? call me a good citizen. What's your name? You can call me a good citizen. What is your name? I don't need to. I'm not committing a crime, sir. I'm just a journalist doing a little story. Now you're making, now you're making, doing a story. For me? For yourself? Yeah, free Personal press. You? Press? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That's fine. He's uh, trying to ID me about he doesn't have a crime. I, I know I know very well what I'm doing, sir. And you can't just pull up and start asking for ID. That's not how the law works. I you. Who your name is. Yeah, but that's who you're trying to ID me. Yeah, we're, we're trying to ID you because but that's not, that's not, okay, what is... In this scenario, the police violated Penal Code 148G by demanding that the person filming present identification without legal grounds. According to Penal Code 148G, filming public officials in public spaces is entirely legal and cannot be deemed suspicious or require identification unless there is a clear criminal act. However, the police attempted to force the filmer to provide ID without legal justification, thereby infringing upon the citizen's freedom to engage in activity protected by the law California I'm not only I'm supposed to ID after I'm legally booked that's matter. the law in California so you can ask me for my credentials well you work for me it. sir it doesn't okay matter. let me see your ID where you live 
Why, why do you need to Why see would that? you see, need to see my ID then? I don't need to see where you're just asking who you are. Um, I'm, a, I'm a citizen, taxpaying citizen who employs you, sir. Who employs me? Yes, sir. He's the guy who sits in front of uh, Have fun out here, sir. You have a good day. Hey, Martinez. I'm not going to charge you this time for educating you, man. Thank you for the education. All right, you're welcome. No, I was talking to Martinez. You already were educated. See this guy? Police and public officials need to understand legal regulations to avoid violating citizen rights. Lack of legal knowledge can lead to misconduct, eroding public trust, and negatively impacting the image of law enforcement. A tense incident where a driver refuses to provide ID to police. Give us you understand? Your ID. I, I, I don't need to give you my ID. 100%. I didn't do nothing. There's no okay, crime to me. Yep, no problem. Too much. No really? Yep. Are you serious? serious? An incident where a driver refuses to provide a driver's license when officers request it, claiming no wrongdoing and no need to provide ID. The police explain that the request for ID is for investigating a dispute, but the driver argues that this action infringes on his privacy under the Constitution. Texas law requires ID in traffic stops, but in the absence of clear violations or an arrest, the request for ID may be invalid. The police need a valid reason to request ID and must respect personal rights. Just tell me what happened. No, you need to talk to him. I don't got nothing to say. Well, that's that's our job. So we get your I story. understand your job. Bye. Again, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Talk to him. He's the one that called you, not me. So you don't want to tell us what happened? I'm not gonna, your I, don't wanna, the story? I don't have a story to tell. I did yeah. not cut nobody off okay. again. Ask him. It's we're in the f drive through at McDonald's. It's not that goddamn serious. So if Karen, I, I mean, Karen, if, that's understand. all I'm telling you. I can't and if, understand if he wants to make a big deal out of nothing, that's on him. I'm not frustrated. Yeah. I don't have a problem. That's why I'm driving away. I didn't. Okay. Do you but, have your license on you? Yeah, but you don't need it. Uh, yes, I, yeah, you don't. We absolutely Carolina, don't. Carolina, no, yes. you got it. You got it messed up. You are involved in investigation. Nope. But go can... investigate. No, you don't. I didn't do nothing. So I didn't commit sir, a crime. Abs it's yes, negative. Absolutely. That's a negative, man. You're not going to get Please it. Please don't interfere with the investigation because hey. they won't have to put you in jail. Jake, been in jail. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Is no, te bajes. No, te bajes. You're violating my rights. No, te bajes. Hey. No te bajes. There is no investigation. Listen. No te bajes. Listen. No te bajes. Listen. I'll go to jail. I beg you are. My first and my fourth amendment rights. You understand? Listen, listen. listen. Because he's trying to take me to jail upset. over not identifying. No, yes, your your, your body cam done? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I don't see the red light on yours. Is it on? Yes, sir. Make listen, sure you got it. Because I will, I will sue the shit out of you. Let me explain to I will sue the shit out of you guys. You there is no crime explain? committed. Are you going to let me explain? No, because there's no crime okay, committed. Well, give us you your understand? ID you, I, I, I don't need to give you my ID. I didn't do nothing. There's no crime committed. Really? Yep. Are you serious? Just don't stop recording. We're going to get the reason for why he's being arrested. We're going to sue him. I need your supervisor. I need your supervisor. Don't stop recording. It's going to be tight. I can go double up. Get the supervisor right here. Don't stop recording. Yes, ma'am. You're violating my rights. I'm going to sue the shit out of both of you. What's your name and badge? No, sir. There's no crime committed. We just need to. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? I don't care. There's no investigation. Your investigation starts there. Right. And what's your name and badge number for the for the record? Hey, it's Officer Carmen 77. Officer Bailey 77. Thank you. Are you I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. Okay. I, want, I want your supervisor. I don't want to say a damn word to you guys. Okay. And I'm going to sue the shit out of the city of Troy City. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. The police continue to demand the driver's license, but the driver refuses and requests to speak to a supervisor. When the supervisor arrives, the driver demands the officer's personal information and case numbers, while the officers explain that the ID request is to complete the investigation of a dispute, not due to criminal activity. The driver argues that the ID request is unlawful and threatens to sue the officers. According to Texas law, ID requests generally apply in traffic violations or arrest situations. Without a specific crime, the police need valid reasons to request ID and ensure personal rights are not violated. That's not a crime. We don't know this. No, there's no crime. Yeah. Okay, well, there's no, what's the crime? What is a crime? What did they call in for? Disturbance. Disturbance. Yeah, of what disturbance kind of disturbance? Of his piece, that's it. He's well, just what? bugging. It's verbal? Yeah. I mean, is that, that's not physical? That's what we're there's no crime. I'm trying to... So you're being overly aggressive and we're just... No, because you guys, you guys don't need my f***ing ID. Yes. What part of that don't you f***ing understand? Yes. Okay. Goddamn, you guys are fing stupid than I thought. You're you're stupid. Stupid. Oh, yeah, that man trying to argue with his daughter and his car, and I told him to track him right there. I said, That's fing crazy. Why is he still sitting over there all free when he's the one that caused the disturbance? That's why we're trying to get you to the story. Okay, listen, I'm going to explain it to you. Will you let me explain it to you without you? Huh? I'm not cops playing it. I'm just, no, I'm not. So, whenever there's a call, listen, just, just listen to me. Oh, you don't know. I'm so glad we're so fucking rude, 
Sí. Que también, ¿por qué te pongo fastidioso? Ay, no. Listen, we don't want to take him to jail. We just need him to identify himself. That's it. So whenever we have an investigation, all we do is we gather both parties' IDs, and it's for our notes, okay? It's for our case notes. That's all we do. That's all we wanted was his information. And then whenever you don't give us our, your ID, at right now, he's impeding our investigation. We're unable. So you have to identify yourself. That's a law. So that's what I'm trying to explain to him. We just need his ID to identify him. We don't want to have to take him to jail. It's the last thing we want to do. That's it. Is there a way you could talk to him? I, we don't want to have to take him to jail if we don't have to take him to jail. Damn. No? Do y'all want to tell me what happened? It started it's, it's, with him. <laughs> it's not a crime. That's the thing. Is it like you guys argue? It started crime. with him. Okay, exactly. He's... So, and He's I understand. And I understand. So we, all we were going to come do is come and defuse well, I mean, the situation. Well, you need to talk to him. I can't say anything now. We're just started. trying to figure out what happened. That's all we're doing is identifying. Well, he's going to tell you what happened because he's the one that caused everything. Okay, so you guys don't your failure to ID because you want us to talk to him, but he's already been talked to. Um, I mean, he's that's the what one I don't that's understand. Who, okay, but he's already been talked to. Well, I don't know what's going we're trying, on. We're trying to get your side of the story. That's what we don't really have a side of to, to tell if he's the one that made the call. He said everything, so whatever he okay, said. Okay, so he made the call. So you tell me why he would have made that call. He's listen. He's, he's, he was. He's yeah. doing about three or four turns while we're just standing in line. That's his issue. So go ahead and get his side of the story. You don't want a side of the story. We don't need a side of the story. Okay. We didn't do anything. Okay. All right. He's the one that's. I don't know what's wrong with him. In a tense situation, the police continuously demand the driver's license and personal information. The driver refuses and demands the officers provide names, badge numbers, and a supervisor to file a complaint. The officers explain that requesting ID is necessary to complete the dispute investigation and handcuff the driver to ensure safety during the investigation. The driver, frustrated and feeling violated, protests being handcuffed, claiming the action is unreasonable and infringes on his rights. He demands immediate release and threatens to sue the officers for violating his rights, also requesting contact information for filing a complaint. According to Texas law, police have the right to request ID in traffic violations or arrest situations. However, if it's just a dispute and no serious crime, the request for ID must be reasonable and not infringe on personal rights. Handcuffing may be reasonable if there's potential danger. <laughs> Stop recording. Uh -huh, calmado. Yeah, calmado, calmado, yes. Tenemos. I incident number and I need everybody's names here. Yes, sir. So, why are, why are my handcuffs? Over here, please, for the record. It's, why am I a handcuff? Okay, but well, you don't detain people in handcuffs. So, okay, because Karen over there called you guys. I heard him see if he's got warrants. I, I, I avoided him, okay? This is not the answer. And then this guy right here, Mr. Bailey, demanding my ID for no crime. Investigation starts there. He would have told you the story. That there was no crime committed. Why is he leaving? Right? He's so aggressive. Why is he leaving? Hey, hey, no, you don't. So not not physically. So not physically. Out. Not like this. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs of what you did to me. You argue. violated my rights. It's not arguing. I'm not argue. Shut the f up and get okay. in your car. You're dismissed. Get me out of these f handcuffs, sir. Get so me out of these handcuffs, please. Okay. This is not. This is not. This is not right. Okay. I did nothing wrong. It was an argument. That's it. Well, why not? did he leave? What's your person? Uh, you don't why need to know that. Would you like to be called? Good citizen. Okay. Good citizen. Yes, sir. Here's the deal. There's um, no deal. Just explain to me, please. Get yeah. me out of these handcuffs. Okay. I don't want to be in handcuffs. We're not yeah. Handcuffs. yeah. You're not gonna get crazy with me. Or I'm not getting crazy, sir. Yeah, well, hello. I don't get crazy. Okay. Mm. I don't. I don't get crazy. Okay. I don't get crazy. This is crazy. Oh, what okay. you did, you guys did to me. Okay. Look at in front of the whole world, in front of my family. You want me to do that to you guys? Well, not sure. Just relax. Fucking I stupid, man. Stupid, not professional people, man. What are you guys dealing with, man? No. And I need an incident number, please, and everybody's name that was involved, even that man, because I'm suing his ass, too, for calling you. Look at that. 
Look at that. You guys recording that? Mm -hmm. Animals. I'm gonna put you in torture cuff. I need an instant number two. Stupid ass motherfucker. You're welcome. And you're leaving before I leave. I'll send it off. And then you gotta dismiss. Yeah. 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 If somebody doesn't give you ID, doesn't mean you put them in fucking tank cuff. Well, yeah. You go f yourself. You need anything for me? No, sir. I thank you for being professional. Teach okay. these stupid asses something. All right. I, and, and it's not disrespect to you. Okay. But when they come, they got to do an investigation. We put the, look, look what they did. So on but the, they don't need to do that, I sir. I, I, you understand? I already, so I'm just letting you know right now, for the record, I'm suing the shit out of you guys for what they did. I'm suing the city. I'm getting a fucking lawyer. I've been watching all these videos of, of this kind of stuff here, and and it was just videos. Now I've been involved in it. This changes the narrative for me personally. Okay. All right? Because I know my fucking rights. It, she just violated my Fourth Amendment right, whether you believe it or not. What? You I have get, to follow the law. Sure, there, there, sure. That was feelings That was feelings enforcement there, not law enforcement. Okay. You understand me? Uh, it's no saying. disrespect to you or nobody else, but that's feelings enforced because I don't give you my ID. I don't have to give you my ID. I didn't commit no crime. Okay. That's why I asked her, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Go investigate with him and then determine what happened, just like you just did, right? If they would have done that, they we wouldn't be in this situation. So you guys just opened this kind of worms for the city of Royce because you're going to put money in my fucking pocket. I, I didn't want to do this shit, but you guys did this shit over a stupid ass drive through at a McDonald's. But, and I appreciate it. You Thank have any you. Any other questions? No, sir. I, I got what I need right here. Actually, I need their, their numbers. I mean, their names you better and their remove. batch numbers. You mind if I ride on no, your sir, car? No, sir, go ahead. I already, I'm gonna have a further discussion with him about him PD, about what. Now, just for your information, the we did just have a legislative update. The law did change. You know, on a traffic stop, you have to present your driver's license upon request of a magistrate, you know, judge, myself, an officer, a traffic okay. stop. Then it moved over to fail to ID, where it says if they're they, a driver of a motor vehicle. Realistically, I think the verbiage is a little off from the legislative update. I know the female officer, she has not had the legislative update in Texas yet. Um, so the verbiage is off, where it says, if it's a realistically what I believe that applies to is a traffic, traffic stop. stop. Yeah. It doesn't say that now, but that's why I told him realistically. Technically, can you be arrested for a, a for class a, C? For a, for a traffic stop. For a class C misdemeanor. You can. It doesn't say traffic stop anymore. They don't do this job, so they sometimes miss verbiage. Gotcha. And so that happened. When you, when you have to ID, now if you were lawfully under arrest, yeah. or if you are alleged to have committed an offense, alleged, he said... He punched me in the face. Well, then you would be this suspect in an alleged offense. Then you would have to identify yourself. Per failed ID statute, which I believe is 3802. But, but you investigated already. See the difference? So, right? yes. And now, granted, typically what we do is try to speak with both parties at the same time. You are 100% right on it is not a crime to not identify yourself. Tane. If you are lawfully under arrest, right. then you do this class E. If you lie... This class being, right. if you lie and you're uh, uh, wanted, all right, well, I got, gonna, I got, a, I got a long trip ahead of me, sir. I got hey, you. I'm going to talk with all you. of them back at the PD and discuss everything yep. that happened. Yeah, you need to because they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna keep this. But without clear reasons, it could be seen as an infringement on personal rights. Citizens have the right to refuse to provide ID if not being arrested or accused of a specific crime. The police need valid reasons and must respect personal rights during investigations, ensuring all actions are legally justified. Next, a First Amendment audit of the Habersham. County Sheriff's Office and refusal of ID. The interaction between the filmer and the police becomes tense and dramatic. The police request that the filmer stop recording and present identification, but the filmer resolutely refuses. He points out that the filming area has no restricted signage and asserts his public filming rights under the First Amendment. When the police ask for ID, the filmer declines and cites the Fourth Amendment, arguing that the right to protection from unreasonable searches and seizures does not require ID in public situations. Despite the police citing a state law requiring ID, the filmer stands firm, emphasizing that the lack of restricted signage means he has the full right to film legally in this public area. I'm recording the facility. I don't answer questions. What? I don't answer questions. Do what? You cannot be on my admin side taking pictures. No, that's the First Amendment, right? Not over here. There's no restricted area signs. You cannot be over here taking pictures. Where's the restricted area sign? I'd probably go ahead and call and get a deputy up here. What's your name and badge number? Corporal McDaniel. You can't be over here on this side taking pictures by the admin side. Hey, you can restricted stay in the area public signs. area, but you cannot come over here and take pictures. Well, they should have a restricted area sign. Sorry. I'd advise them to not take pictures. 
but got it on camera. Okay. Through the camera and the cars that they have in here. The confrontation between the filmer and the police escalates as the police persistently demand that the filmer stop recording and provide ID. Although the police attempt to justify their ID request under legal provisions, the filmer remains unyielding. He asserts that he is in a public area with no restricted signage, thus his filming rights are protected by the Constitution. First Amendment, the freedom of speech and press protects the right to film in public areas as long as there is no clear restricted signage. Fourth Amendment, the right to protection from unreasonable searches and seizures. The filmer asserts that this right does not require presenting ID in public situations. State law on ID ID. Although the police cite a state law requiring ID when requested, the filmer maintains that his filming rights are unaffected. The filmer continues recording and argues with the police, emphasizing the absence of restricted signage in the area where he is filming. Even though the police claim that filming certain vehicles and areas is unlawful, the filmer firmly asserts that his filming rights are protected by these amendments. The police persist in demanding that he leave the area and obstructing his filming, but the filmer continues to record the entire process, affirming his constitutional rights. What's up, man? How's it going? Not much, just recording the facility. Recording the facility? Uh, guess you say so. I got you. All right, uh, did you get permission from the sheriff and all that? Actually, being private property, you kind of do need This permission. is public property because it's uh, government funded? Not exactly, dude. Yes, there's sir. Too many, there's too many private things going on up here. Well, you hiding something? No. We've got personal information up here that you can't see. That you're not allowed to see, not without That's where the time. restricted areas are. You're inside the guard lines, though, dude. Uh, actually, this is the public park. This is public parking for the people. And That's they guy's would... called a guard line right there, dude. Yeah, and that says that all cars may be... Why do I I'm not a, a vehicle. Why do I have a car alarm going off? I really don't know. It started going off. I haven't recorded, so I don't... I got a uh, Fourth Amendment, man. Fourth Amendment? Yes, sir. Yeah, you do. Uh, I understand that, but there's also a state law stating you have to perform out Do you have a uh, sergeant on duty, actually? Yep, absolutely. I'll get him up here. Stand by. And what's your name badge number? Deputy Case. Yeah, and she was saying something about you can't record over here, but they should have a restricted area sign if they don't want people to record over here. This well, is... What exactly are you doing up here, anyway? I'm just up here gathering uh, information for a story. For a story, what kind of story do you, you work for a news article or are you well, with a media of, or anything? Freedom of press, sir. Freedom of press? Usually you have to have some kind of badge or some kind of uh, affiliation. That's the First Amendment, sir. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not telling you you can't talk about your First Amendment. I'm just asking if you're affiliated with anybody. No, sir. I'm freedom of press. Gathering content for a story. Here's the issue that you're running across, and this is the reason why it's kind of bothering me a little bit. You're actually taking, uh, taking pictures of personal vehicles over there, though, the two. Well, that's not illegal. If they don't want them to see it, they shouldn't be in public. Anything you can see from public, you can record. Not necessarily, because as far as Georgia consent law, it actually have to have both. There's no the consent. Law. Only in restricted areas. Ah, okay. How long? How long you been studying law then? Uh, a good while, sir. A good while. So where'd you go to school at then? At, I don't ask questions. Well, I've got my lieutenant coming up here. He's gonna he's gonna pretty much tell you the exact same thing I'm, I told you already. You guys need to possibly get updated on the Constitution. Nah, uh, we're very well up to date on the Constitution. That's good. You also need to get updated up, up, up on the OCGA of uh, uh, Annotated Codes of Georgia as well, too. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, state law, the uh, state law, you still have to abide by state law, state law, state I'm law. I'm abiding by the law just now. I mean, walking around recording a public facility, this is government funded. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll let my lieutenant, he's on his way, he's from the south end. Consensual, right? Do I, uh, have I put you in handcuffs? Have I, have I detained you in any way, shape, form, or fashion? No, I'm just making sure. I'm getting it for the record. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just sitting there talking to you. And I actually asked you for your ID, and you still haven't presented any kind of ID or any form of identification. Because I want. don't have to. Uh, yeah, actually, there's a state uh, state law stating that you have to actually provide some form absolutely of identification. Absolutely not, sir. You have to at least provide a name and date of birth. Uh, Mr. Sergeant Miller can tell you that firsthand. Sergeant Miller. Who's Sergeant Miller? Uh, I guess he works for y'all. I got the video of him telling me his name's Sergeant Miller. I did get pulled over for him a while back, and it was the same thing. I was out in public recording, whatever. He he was trying to use the intimidation tactic, saying, oh, well, you got to give me your ID. Here, here, I, 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 this is all explanatory, okay? 
all I'm trying to get you. This exactly. is a, like you said, and I agree with you that this is a government funded area. Okay? Exactly, which means but that's right. Here's reporting. where it separates. You've got a guard line right there. Well, it's the not state, close, sir. This is actually state, federal, private property. This okay? isn't private property if it's mm-hmm. government funded. You're not trying. You see, that's where everything gets twisted up. All right. Yeah. Now, are you from Habersham? I'll answer questions. I'm just asking you for from Habersham. I don't care where you're from. I'm just asking you for from here. I see how this is going to go. Okay. All right, we're going to hang out here. We'll sit inside in awkward silence. That's fine. Until oh. my lieutenant gets here. I'm just trying to make small talk. Just not trying to give up any of my rights, sir. I'm not trying to force you to. Either. Well, I know you ain't, but since I did get clarity, there's no restricted area signs over here, so that means that I can walk over here and record. Let me suggest something to you. Let me let you talk to our, my lieutenant first before you go back in there, because we do have an impound. That is that. That is the eye. That is items that are under investigation. I understand, but if you when guys don't want people going back there, there should definitely be a well, restricted I mean, area sign. Clear with the guard line, guess that didn't say restricted area, and it doesn't say private property either. As far as that, now as far as employee parking and all that, take it out. It's all public, sir. Probably what you should do. Alright. Alright, then. I'm just going to stand out here and just kind of watch. Alright, see. So, what's the deal, sir? Lieutenant's going to call the sheriff. I'll let him know. Alright. Then we'll go from there. So, just be clear, there's no restricted area signs over here. So. I'm more than free to go over there, correct? I'm not gonna stop you. I'm just. All right, I'll walk with you, but I ain't gonna stop you. Okay. Yeah, as soon as it I need to get says. Some exercise anyway. I hear that. <laughs> but um, yeah, as soon as I see a restricted area sign, I'll, I'll stop. I mean, I'm not gonna go past any restricted yeah. areas. And see, I, and honestly, dude, that's the, that's what I'm worried about. I just don't want you stepping over something and like trying to open doors because I don't no. know you from Adam's house, cat man. Well, I don't know who you are. I've never dealt with you before. I just like to know who I'm dealing with. I understand that. But understand, and understand this, there is a law that states that you have to provide some form of identification. No, sir, there's not. Yes, there is. That's my Fourth Amendment, sir, Mm -hmm. and I can almost guarantee you don't want to have to deal with the lawsuit. (laughs) Okay. This situation highlights that maintaining a firm stance and understanding your rights can help protect these rights in tense situations. Knowing the law not only helps maintain personal freedom, but also contributes to ensuring transparency and fairness in interactions with authorities. What do you think about Officer Hendrick's actions at the Morrill Police Department? We witness a tense confrontation between a citizen and the police, reflecting the clash between personal freedom and law enforcement power. The situation starts when Officer Hendrick from the Morrill Police Department approaches an individual cleaning their car at a hotel, demanding ID after receiving a call from the hotel manager. The individual refuses to provide ID, arguing that they are not breaking any laws and that there is no legal basis for requiring personal information. The tension escalates as the person asserts their personal freedom, accusing the police of abusing power and infringing on privacy. The situation becomes more intense as the police continue to demand and the individual resists, leading to threats of arrest. You got an ID on you, man? No, no, uh, there's no reason to ID me. Okay, what's your name? What's your name? I'm not going to give you that either. 13, you want to head this way? I mean, we got called on you. And after you've been out here for... Two hours, which would be, do you have a room here? So that'd be trespassing. Okay, so that'd be trespassing. If you don't have a room here, if you don't have a room here, and we got calls here, so. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? I give you my name, sir. Okay. You have no reason to stop and talk to me. You got warrants or something? No, I don't, because I don't have to. Well. I haven't broken any laws, and this is America. Okay. To make sure I was doing nothing wrong, which I'm doing nothing wrong. So you can go on with your day. I'm getting ready to leave. Well, you're not free to leave. Uh, yeah, I am. So I am free to leave. Um, what am I being detained for? What law? What well, law? they said you were out here for two hours. That doesn't matter what they said. You don't have a room here, so That's not obviously law either. that would be trespassing. This is public. 
property. I don't see anywhere. No, it's says not public no property. Do it's you? private property. The hotel. Do you see anywhere it says no trespassing? The hotel is this. It doesn't matter. Do you see anywhere? So it's not public. Do property. you see anywhere that it says? So that? it's not public property. Yes, it is. Okay. Public goes in there, don't they? Do you have this your ID public. on you? You're not gonna ID yourself? Huh? I said you're not gonna ID yourself. I haven't done anything wrong, sir. Nothing. Are you failing to identify? It's not illegal to fail to identify. Actually, it is. I have not broken any laws. Actually, it is. When I request nope. your inf not information. You Thank you, though. Do you have any weapons on you? Other than, other you than the metal thing that you're holding? Why would I tell you anything? You think you could just identify me? This isn't Germany. This isn't Gestapo. I haven't broke no laws. Leave me the f alone. Okay. Thank you. I don't understand what this aggression is towards me because I haven't done anything to you. The aggression is you keep prying in my questions. I don't have to give you nothing. What's your okay. name? Okay. I already told you What's that. What's your address? I already told Did I ask for your address? Yeah. It comes on my ID, don't it? Oh, I didn't ask for your address, you though. You didn't get mine either. Go ahead. Ready to go? No. Yeah, I am. No, that's you're not. That's where you're wrong. That's where, that's where you're wrong. No, you're not. Why am I not free to go? Give me name well, you one ask particular hotel crime that I committed. If they want to suspect. Name one. What's that? Name one. One thing, one one crime, one law I just broke. I told you, trespassing. Why would they? I don't blame them. For exactly. That. The Why way you're would acting? they? Because it's not a law. You no, know it's not a law, sir. You know it's not a law, and you're breaking my constitutional rights right no. now that you took an oath for, no, and that I'm I can not. sue you for. So you better go check. Call your sergeant. How about you not get in that vehicle? How about you threaten me and and, How about you not and put hands vehicle? on me for no reason? I will. Okay. You're not gonna get in that vehicle, sir. You're not allowed to do that. Call 12, your sergeant. I'm sergeant. Sergeant. I'm headed your way. Back up. Get the fuck out of my space. Shut your fucking mouth. Fuck How about you. That? Get out of my space. I don't space. know what the hell your problem is. Get, Get out of out. my space. I did not come up to you all aggressive and okay, shit. Okay, and I so said, no, I'm not going to give you my identity. Okay. And I'm getting ready to leave. Did I not? Except now you're, not you're free causing to leave. a fucking scene because I'm about to get not loud. Free to Except for you're not free to leave. I'm going to record this shit. Go ahead, man. It's already recorded. No, I don't Look. fucking trust your fucking cameras. Green. Let me grab my phone. You are not grabbing anything out of Sir? You I don't not, know if there's weapons in this there. This is my property. Except for I don't know if there's weapons in there. It doesn't matter if there's weapons in there or not. It I'm does. allowed to have fucking have weapons. No. I'm all let yeah. you in there. Why? Because I don't know if there's weapons in there. I'm not breaking any fucking laws, sir. None. Okay. I'm free to go. Yes, I am. I haven't done anything. No, you aren't. I told you. Hotel management called and said you've been here that for a couple hours. That doesn't mean I broke a law. It's trespass. It's not trespassing, sir. They didn't even you come don't have a room tell here. me anything. So, no. No name. No nothing. Okay. Not cooperating. I do not consent. I'm free to go, because you not broken any laws. Well, this Thank is a sergeant you. right here. Have I broken any laws? No. Okay, so we just got a call from hotel consent, management that he's been out here changing he's clothes. My, just, my property, plate doesn't get your hands off him. my property, as a matter of fact. Um, he said he's been out here for two hours, changing I clothes, didn't messing say that. around. They you know. said that. He just said he doesn't have a room here. You can so. see all the trash in the damn dumpster I just threw in there. That's so all I was doing, was cleaning out my damn You're not supposed park. to use public dumpsters to dump your crap in. Oh, now it's a public dumpster. I haven't done anything wrong, sir. All I did was say, no, I'm not going to give him my name. I'm not doing anything wrong. I just put oil in my car. Okay, well, so far what you have is they've been called here for a lawful reason. Okay, what they, law? They, I'm going to talk. They're talking about something. They've got a concern. You just said you illegally dumped. So now... That's not illegal. It is because you didn't rent a room here. You don't have a right to put your stuff in. The police demand that the individual provide identification and warn that refusal could lead to serious legal consequences. The individual firmly refuses, emphasizing that they are not committing a crime and asserting their right to leave as they have not violated any laws. The police argue that the individual has no right to leave and could be considered trespassing as they do not have a room at the hotel and have been there too long. The individual counters pointing out the absence of restricted signage and no official request from the hotel, asserting their freedom to leave. As the individual continues to resist and protest, the police decide to arrest them. The individual reacts strongly, feeling their rights are being violated and demanding the police provide reasons for their detention. The police proceed with the arrest, applying handcuffs and taking the person to the police station. The individual continues to react aggressively, accusing the police of unfair conduct and stating intentions to sue due to these actions. They pay for that dumpster to get dumped. That's no, not, you're not talking not over illegal. me. I guarantee you it is. It's not I illegal. understand. Show me the law. We'll show you at the station. You either no. identify yourself or they'll take you into custody. You decide. You cannot kidnap me. I haven't broken any laws. That's against my That's constitution. That's the way it's going to go. No, Twelve we're dispatch. What did the hotel management say? Constitution, sir. No. <coughs> Turn around. No, sir. Put your hands back your back. You don't get that fucking so fucking violent, dude. Fuck. Why you want to get fucking violent? Okay, okay. Fuck. You guys are fucking asshole. Fuck. Did this you was very phone, simple, please, sir. No, this was very simple. All you do is what was simple about it? What did I do wrong? Nothing. I didn't do a fucking thing wrong. So y'all are illegal. Search. I do not consent. That's fine. 
Quit don't fucking spitting in my fucking face, fucking motherfucker. motherfucker. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. You fucking young little bitch. I ain't fucking doing anything wrong, sir. You want to know my name? If you Raymond you fucking Grove. You keep acting like this. Get my fucking cops off me. Go ahead. There's no ID. It's probably in the car. I don't have an ID. Do you? Dude, 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 that is the way it fucking goes. It was a simple check. Yeah, and I yeah, said. Yeah, you could have complied. I, said, it would have I been don't different. have to comply. Well, obviously you do. You're in handcuffs, aren't you? Yeah, because you're a fucking goddamn Casapo Tyree. Oh. You better stop it now. I'm not messing with you. Fuck you, bitch. You better stop. I ain't done nothing. Not swung one time. Are those, are those double locked yet? Yeah, they're, they're double locked. Are they double locked? Yeah. Yep. Okay, whose car is he going in? Cage. Okay, let's go. You got no reason for this. You better have a goddamn ticket for this. You better have a fucking ticket for this. Quit trying to pinch me. I'm not trying to pinch you, you fucking me. douchebag. How the fuck am I pinching you, motherfucker? You're yeah. a fucking pussy, dude. You're a fucking Get pussy. In Get in the car. Get in the car now. Oh, wow. You guys are so tough. I do not consent to shit. You don't have to. Good. That's no When you get me down to the station, when you let me out, because I ain't breaking any laws, quit, sir. Quit you're resisting arrest no. now. So you're actually going to go to jail. Uh. You better quit. You understand? On, You're it. making it a lot worse on yourself. Do it, sir. Come on. Do it. Do it. Go fuck you. Put your elbow in my chest, please. No, you turn your head that way. And don't worry. Right 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 I got elbow out of my I got his neck. I'm not doing anything wrong, you fucking faggot. Get the fuck off. All of you are getting sued. Every fucking one. All right, you're sorry, you here. Thanks. Is that car on check in? <coughs> nope. <coughs> <coughs> I, we haven't even had a chance to run him. Raymond Gross, I know what he said, so. 213 dispatch. We got an individual, last name of Gross, George Robert, Ocean, Sam, Sam. First name is Raymond. Let's see, see if we can maybe try to scan him out. We're going to look for an ID. So, I mean, we're going to tow the vehicle. Dispatch also, if you can advise that? hotel. Uh, man, <laughs> step outside here too, uh, please. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, the right to film in public and protect free speech is crucial in our society. Don't hesitate to stand up for your rights and share this video to raise community awareness about citizen rights. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us for more valuable content. Let's work together to protect our fundamental rights.